So I'm willing to bet you have heard of WordPress and there's good reason for that. Did you know that WordPress powers over 43% of all websites on the internet? That's right. Nearly half of everything you see online is built with WordPress, but it wasn't always this way. Back in 2003, WordPress started as a simple blogging platform, but what began as a tool for bloggers has evolved into one of the world's most versatile website building platforms. Today, WordPress powers everything from small personal websites to massive e-commerce stores, news sites like TechCrunch and The New Yorker, and even famous brands like Disney and Sony Music. Best part? You don't need to be a tech genius to use it. So in this video, we're going to dive deep into WordPress and show you exactly why it's become the go-to platform for millions of people. Here's what you're going to learn. The basics of WordPress and how it actually works. Why WordPress might be the perfect tool for building your site. How to set up and customize your own WordPress site. Some advanced features that can take your site to the next level. And yes, we'll even cover how you can make money with WordPress. So if you're ready to learn how to harness the power of the world's most popular website platform, stick around. We're about to take you on a journey from complete beginner to WordPress pro. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Mike from WP Rocket, the easiest and most powerful solution to boost your website speed. And this channel is dedicated to sharing tips and tricks for building excellent and super fast websites. So if this is what you're looking for, subscribe. So before we dive into WordPress, let's quickly discuss the difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com. Both were created by the same group of people, which is why they have the same name, but they do have a difference. WordPress.com is a hosting service. They manage a lot of the details of setting up a WordPress site so that you don't have to worry about it. Everything is set up for you, but you have limited control over what you can change. It is hosted for you, maintained for you, more restricted in terms of customization, perfect for simple blogs or basic websites, and comes with monthly fees for premium features. Meanwhile, WordPress.org is the base content management system. A content management system is an online tool for organizing and displaying web content. While some websites can be created using just code like HTML and CSS, a content management system adds a lot of functionality and convenience right out of the box. With WordPress.org, you have complete control, but you're responsible for everything. This means you have to find a hosting service, there is access to thousands of themes and plugins, there's no restrictions on monetization, and sometimes it's more cost effective. The difference is kind of like renting or owning a house. The level of responsibility and control varies depending on what you choose. We will mainly focus on WordPress.org, the content management system, for the rest of this video. Now let's talk about why WordPress dominates the content management system market. The numbers are staggering. 43% of all websites use WordPress. Over 64% of all websites built with a content management system are WordPress. More than 400 million people visit WordPress sites each month. But what makes WordPress so popular? And why shouldn't you consider using WordPress? It's not just one thing. It's a combination of ease of use, you don't need to be a developer to create a great website. Flexibility and customizability. You can create a lot of different types of websites. Community. There's thousands of developers constantly improving the platform. Cost effectiveness. Most of the core features are completely free. And here's where it gets interesting. WordPress is so much more than it seems. While it started as a blogging platform, today it powers e-commerce stores, educational platforms, membership sites, digital magazines, portfolios, web apps, and much more. And that's one of the best things about WordPress. It grows with you. You can start simple and add more features as you need them. Want to add an online store? There's a plugin for that. Need to accept appointments? There's a solution for that too. Possibilities are practically endless. So let's take a quick overview of WordPress. WordPress works through a combination of different elements. There's the core system that handles basic functionality. There are themes that control how your site looks. There are plugins that add new features. A database and media library that stores all of your content. And the code that makes it all work together. Now that you have an idea of what WordPress looks like, let's dive into how you can make your own website and what you need to know to make it work for you. 
Let's start with what's needed to set up your first WordPress site. Don't worry, I'll break it down into simple, manageable steps. First, you will need two essential things, a domain name and hosting. The domain name is the name of your website or URL. It's the readable address of your website and shows up in the top bar of your browser whenever you visit a website. Domain names typically cost around $10 to $20 per year, and you can typically register one through your hosting provider. Hosting is how websites are stored and accessed by website visitors. They hold all of your website information and send the website data and content to people who go to your website. Hosting can range from $3 to $30 per month, depending on your needs. There are many different hosting options, including GoDaddy, Bluehost, DreamHost, WordPress.com, Rocket.net, and many more. It makes sense to do a little research to find the service that works best for you. But here's a pro tip. Many hosting companies offer special WordPress optimized hosting. Look for hosts that offer one-click WordPress installation. It will save you a lot of time. Once you've created an account with a hosting provider, registered a domain name, and set up your WordPress site with your hosting service, you will be able to log into your brand new site as an administrator. Here you will see the WordPress dashboard. This is the back end of your site and is where you will organize and create the content that is displayed. You can see what your website will look like for other visitors by clicking here, but let's take a closer look at all the other elements of WordPress in the dashboard. Let's discuss posts versus pages. Posts are like blog entries, chronological, categorized content. They can be their own page, but they are typically for content that is created regularly or have a lot of different versions, like sales items or portfolio examples. Pages are static content, like the About Us or Contact pages. Posts show up in your blog feed or gallery while pages typically appear in the menus. Themes control your site's entire look and feel. You can view them in the Themes section, where they can be free or premium. There are many themes to choose from. While it's normally best to find a simple and light theme, it is also important to find a theme that matches your brand or style that you are looking for. Menus create the navigation for your site. They organize your content and make it easier for viewers to find out what they are looking for. It's normally best to organize your pages in the menu. Then there is the Media Library. Here is where you upload all of your images and videos that will be included in your site, plugins. Plugins add new features to your site. You can think of them as apps for your website. There are many different types of plugins and they have all sorts of functionality. When it comes to plugins, be selective. More isn't always better. Focus on security and speed optimization, like WP Rocket and Imagify. WP Rocket caches and optimizes your site so that it loads as fast as possible for your visitors, while Imagify reduces the size of your images so they load quickly as well. Combining them should speed up your website significantly, improve the experience for your visitors, and also improve your search rankings. There is, of course, a lot more, like the Tools section or the Theme File Editor, which requires knowledge of coding, and you don't need to worry about all of that yet. It is important to get comfortable with navigating the dashboard, and advanced options can be learned as needed. Some other things to keep in mind as you're getting started. Start with a simple theme and build up. Only install essential plugins at first. Keep backups before making any major changes. Remember to test your site's performance on desktop and mobile devices using a tool like PageSpeed Insights. If your site is slow, you can use a performance plugin like WP Rocket. Now that you're comfortable with the basics, let's explore some of WordPress's more powerful features that can take your site to the next level. And that makes WordPress such a versatile and popular content management system. First up, custom post types. Think beyond just posts and pages. While posts are best for blogs or articles, you can also create specific content types like product listings, team member bios, or portfolio pages. Next, let's talk about user roles and permissions. WordPress has preset levels of permissions which allow you to collaborate with teams or even users on your site. This functionality even makes it possible to create a social media network with WordPress. Here are the different types of permissions. Administrator has full control. Editor is for content management. The author can publish their own content. Contributors can write a draft but not publish to the site. And subscribers, which can read and view content. This is perfect for multi-author blogs, membership sites, and client websites. Some other advanced customization options are child themes, 
where you can safely modify theme code and preserve updates. Custom CSS, so you can add unique styling and fine tune your design. And API integration to connect with other services or automate tasks. These features might seem advanced now, but they are powerful tools when you need them. Remember, you don't need to use everything at once. Start with what you need and expand as your site grows. Now let's get to the fun part. How you can make money with WordPress sites. This is the exciting part, turning your WordPress site into a revenue generator. There are multiple ways to monetize your WordPress site, and I'll show you the most effective strategies that actually work. Let's break down five main ways to make money with WordPress. E-commerce. You can set up an online store using plugins such as WooCommerce. You can sell physical or digital products and handle payments and shipping. A good idea is to start small with a few products and scale up as you learn what sells. Membership sites. You can create premium content areas, offer exclusive access, set up recurring payments, but make sure you have enough valuable content before launching a membership site. Advertising. There are many options for ads, but the biggest one is the Google AdSense integration. You can also partner with other products with direct ad sales and sponsored posts. Remember, balance ad revenue with user experience. Don't overwhelm your visitors. Affiliate marketing. With affiliate marketing, you can promote other people's products and earn commissions on the sales. You can use plugins to manage the links. Amazon is the biggest, but many other companies offer affiliate sales. Only promote products that you trust and that align with your content. Digital products. Digital products include online courses, eBooks, templates, and other downloads. Remember to start with one high quality product rather than multiple mediocre ones. Here are some other tips to consider when monetizing your site. Quality content comes first. Focus on your audience's needs. Build trust before monetizing. Test and optimize constantly. Make sure your site loads fast. That is crucial for improving user experience and conversion rates. And don't rely on just one method. Remember, successful monetization takes time and experimentation. Start with one method. Perfect it, then expand to others as your site grows. We've covered a lot of ground in this guide, and by now you should have solid understanding of what makes WordPress such a powerful platform. So in this video, we discussed WordPress basics and setup, how to navigate the WordPress dashboard, discuss some advanced features, mentioned some tips to keep in mind when getting started, and basic monetization strategies. But it doesn't stop there. WordPress isn't standing still with the continued development of full site editing, improved page building, better performance and enhanced security, the platform keeps getting better and more powerful, allowing you to do even more with it. We will include a list of links in the description to help you get started building and exploring options for your website. Remember, every successful WordPress site started exactly where you are now. The key is to start small, stay consistent, keep learning, and don't be afraid to experiment. So there you have it. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts in the comments. We will be posting more content to help you build the best possible website. So subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss a thing. This has been Mike from WP Rocket. Thank you for watching and see you next time.